Well, today's Friday. It's the 2nd of February. We're into February now, 2024. And uh, we're back down in Palmano for a walk. It's an afternoon walk. And the time's just coming up to nearly half past three. Uh, it's a bit of a cool breeze, but the sun's shining. And uh, as we were walking down, uh, the thermometer on the pharmacy said it was 18 degrees. It feels okay in the sun. It's just a little bit... Uh, breezy and that breeze is coming from the north so it's a little bit cool but there's people sitting on the beach not many but there's a few and uh, I think in the next week or two we can start to see that increasing as uh, some of the hotels start to open so uh, another 10 days and the Globales Parmanova opens as does the Globales Mimosa Park so uh, we should start to see a few more tourists around and then with that hopefully we'll start to see a few more of the the bars and restaurants cafes all opening up along here saying she sent a postcard to our grandchildren in England. Took how long to get there? Nearly two weeks from Malaga. Nearly two weeks from Malaga. She's gone by pigeon post or pony post or whatever it goes by. Pony Express. Pony Express. Well, not Express. No, express. <laughs> it does seem to have become a problem with uh, postage. <laughs> it's never been brilliant I don't think but we did have a, a stay a passage of time and it was not too bad. It's going past the Cam Blanc. And uh, well yes it seems to have gone worse and we dread anybody sending a package parcel uh, to us and, and we don't send them from here. They just get lost or disappear for months and then when they arrive then there's likely to be some sort of customs duty to pay. So, uh, not, not so good now. Obviously it's uh, one of the things to do with Brexit. I'm going to do a news video and in that I'll talk a little bit more about Etias and the electronic entry and exit system which are uh, looming upon us. Across the road, Ilchering goes open. And at last, the beehive. <laughs> it's only been closed, I think, a month. And they do deserve a rest. They do work long days and uh, for most of the year. So, uh, one of our stopping off points for a, a coffee or a drink. But they've had new chairs as well. Certainly it looked as though they were having some new chairs delivered. We'll have to go and investigate. And Mason Song Caliou is open as well. Mason Song Caliou is open now. The Aqua Beach Hotel. Open yet. I did have a look on the Calvia notice board the other day and I noticed that uh, Philip Blackburn has got a list of uh, hotels and apartments that are open, particularly in the Parmanova Magaluf area, uh, a little bit into a Yetis and Portals. He doesn't cover the Santa Ponza area though, he just covers this, this side of Calvia. But it's useful to see which uh, hotels are opening up and the dates which they are opening. Still working here. What was black is now white. So. Smell the paint. You can smell the paint. Or oh, we can. <laughs> uh, 
we'll get a fresher look on the sea rose. I think we'd call it rough, but there's a few waves there hitting the beach. It's quite nice out at sea. Well, up the steps we go, and I'll catch you at the top. seen in the paper a couple of times or on Facebook as well people have been seeing dolphins swimming off here quite close in as well we've seen them off uh, Pagera don't remember seeing them here though weather forecast continues to be good and it's actually a little bit like Britain it's a major talking point in Spain not just in the Baleares but in Spain every time we put the news on it's almost always weather related because Spain is suffering a really serious drought and uh, we're talking about the worst drought in over a thousand years and uh, some of the reservoirs, well, I think some, most of the, all reservoirs perhaps, are very, very depleted. And uh, it's causing a great deal of concern because obviously in the next few months a lot more uh, tourists are going to be coming. And uh, they will be using a lot more water. So the population of Mallorca, for example, will more or less double. And uh, that includes means we're going to get a lot more water being consumed so already in, uh, in Barcelona they've got uh, sanctions now for uh, which how you can use your water just noticing quite a few people on the beach here and uh, things like swimming pools if they're empty they're not going to allow you to fill them up we noticed in Malaga that or the Malaga area that um, fountains had been turned off, water fissures were not in use and uh, some places the water has actually been rationed or been cut part of the day or longer and uh, a similar situation in Mallorca and I did read one comment I thought to reply but didn't he said why don't they desalinate the water? Well, they do, but uh, desalinating water is quite an expensive process. So, if you can take fresh water from rivers and aquifers, then that's what you want to do. The problem comes if there, there is no water in the rivers and there is no water in the aquifers, then where do you get the water from? So, here in Mallorca, we do have se several desalination plants and uh, they will get brought into to use but it is an expensive option here we can 
and do our little update on the Tropico Hotel, which is undergoing major redevelopment. And there's many people who've said probably a major cost rise as well when uh, you come to stay here. Uh, do expect the prices to go up. I'm sure someone told me last year that uh, the intention is to go up to a four-star hotel. It might have been a three-star before. Make it a four-star. You can charge a little bit more. So now, just looking at the block at the back, that is completely glazed now by the penthouse at the top. The front is all unglazed. All of the windows, the patio windows have been taken out. Maybe a few less cables hanging down. So I was asking what had happened to the bar, they'd love that. Well, looks like they're building a new one. The steel structure's all in place now, a lot more than we saw last week. Lots of activity, lots of work going on here on this Friday afternoon. But really gathering a pace. It's a big flat clear area now that uh, we didn't have there before. They've dug it all out, cleared it out, even taken some trees out. And now it looks as though they're on the, uh, the construction side. They've done the clearing out. Now they can start building. And then on the right hand side there, you can see there's people on the top floor already sorting out the balconies. They've all got harnesses on. You'd never have seen that in Spain a few years ago. People actually taking safety measures. They used to be uh, great daredevils, and I suppose they used to have a lot more accidents. Um, well, I'll keep my eye on the Tropico, and uh, every week or so we'll come down and just have a look to see what progress is being made. And that way we're keeping a log on what's happening. And that's really one of the purposes of the, the videos, isn't it? To keep an eye on what changes are being made over time. You can always go back and have a look to see what, what was it like last year or the year before. And when people ask me, what's the weather like in April? Or what's the weather like in whatever? I just say, uh, have a look at this video. And, uh, this is what the weather was like. There's never any guarantees with weather. Weather's changeable. And uh, well, we're just enjoying this really nice weather as it is now. Uh, got the volleyballers out. Even on a Friday afternoon. over there, that's the Reverence Mar Hotel. It does have access to this road. The main entrance is on the top side, but uh, it does have an entrance down at the bottom, so you're just a few metres away from the reach here. And the Calvia Tourist Information Office. really bright and all the, the paving down here so so clean it's shining the sun shining off the, the paving we were on the uh, Paseo Maritimo the other day and they started to put the paving stones down 
and I was saying I wasn't sure whether they were finished because there were gaps in between them and uh, someone wrote to me to explain that uh, the gaps are there, left there intentionally and the paving slabs are laid onto porous material down below and it allows drainage uh, to occur so they don't need to put drains in which is something they don't do very well here in Spain they put drains in I guess they're not used a great deal so when it does rain a lot it sort of takes the easiest and quickest course down to wherever it's going to and sometimes that causes uh, flooding I was reading in uh, in the paper about San Lorenzo which a few years ago had terrible flooding uh, with loss of life, loss of um, property and there still seems to be an issue there with the Torrente, the, the dry river that should there be uh, a flooding situation we don't seem to have solved that so, a little bit of concern still in that area The weather forecasters say no rain for the next two weeks and they can't really look any further forward to that. Um, temperatures pretty much where they are, so 18 degrees today and that's pretty much what it's going to stay as for the next uh, week or two. It's really quite nice because our eldest daughter Lara is coming out with William and uh, I'm sure he will like to run around on the beach in the sunshine and there are people sitting on the beach enjoying the sunshine it's the Zell Hotel I think Melia and Raphael must be happy with uh, how this hotel's gone because they're expanding and uh, more Zell hotels are now being um, well, converted. They're not building new hotels, I don't think. They're taking existing hotels and converting them. And that seems to be the story of the last couple of years is hotels being bought up by other hotel groups and uh, converting them to their style and Hyatt is in the process of doing that on the island as well Buddha and the Diana Beach Club. Much calmer here, we're a bit more sheltered. We're in the shade. Now at Santa Lucia.
when did you say this is opening? Next week? I don't know about the Santa Lucia. I think that's a little bit later. We'll have to have a check on uh, Philip Blackburn's dates and let you know when the hotels are opening as we walk past them. But the Globalis Parmanova and the Globalis Mimosa will be welcome additions to the Parmanova area. It's the only one at the hotel that's open is the uh, Fergus style Parmanova. Right down there on the beach, walk past at the beginning. Quite a number of apartments available, so they're available all through the year, so it doesn't stop people from coming, it just means there's no hotels, and because there's less places open, there's less businesses open, less hotels, less businesses. It's the terrace in Santa Lucia. That's where Sean and Claire have been staying recently, but not this year. 2024 is going to be the year of change. And they're going to the San Matias Beach, which is right in front of us now. And the San Matias Beach is pretty empty. There's a few people at the far end. We just walk as far as CISOs and then head back. Yes. Yeah. Not going to walk all the way to the end. We've got, uh, got things on. We've got a football match on in particular later on this evening. Uh, that's an away match, so uh, we're going to a bar with uh, Monroe and Marcia. And uh, we'll watch the match there. Athletic Bilbao. It's going to be a really tough match, an away match, and uh, New York are not doing, not doing so well at the moment. Um, we've signed a couple of new players, and uh, hopefully, we'll start to see them come into the team and uh, give it a bit more dy dynamism. And uh, Mariki, who's been out for ages now, weeks, months. Uh, he's got to get back to match fitness and uh, hopefully start scoring some goals for us. Larin seems to have settled down a little bit and uh, has managed to score a couple of goals. And uh, Abdon, well, Abdon's Abdon, he's the local hero boy. And uh, he, uh, he keeps scoring them. The other local hero boy is uh, Dadair, who's uh, he's had a funny old start, but seemed to really settle into his game recently, and uh, well, showing the promise that uh, is expected of him. So let's uh, let's hope something like that comes out tonight. And uh, well, we managed some points. We're down in 15. 15th out of 20, so it's uh, we're not in a comfortable position at all. This is the San Matias, it's the outside seating area, and then the pool's a little bit further on.
voy a tener que ir a la otra manera que me quite este mal de ojo que yo tengo. Ahora voy a la entrevista y voy a la entrevista y, y no era para seguridad, era para que me sentaran en una mesita a coger la llamadita con Sisos, uh, which is well and truly boarded up and winterized. I think they'll be uh, closed for another month or two yet. So, so the trees have been trimmed here, but a bit further along they haven't been trimmed. And around the olive tree they have been trimmed. I wonder if we've got private trimmers in place. Are we going to make a, a turn around here? So we leave the promenade and uh, we'll go through the, the park here. And uh, I have a special reason for coming this way is that uh, I was asked about the, uh, the Florida restaurant which is just across the road there a place we've been to great value for money and very convenient just off the beach so that's the Florida and uh, close by also Pablo, Pablo Family Food uh, which is part of the same group, I think, same family. We're going to be heading back. I have to watch out with the pavement here because it's very up and down. Something uh, Cali needs to sort out. Here's the Viceroy, which did have a big for sale sign on it. That seems to have gone. It seems to have been some clearing out as well. So, uh, another place for us to keep our eyes on. It is, isn't it? This is how the pavements are all rickety rockety. the grill house which is right underneath the Somatias Beach Hotel and across the road that's the Globalis Nova apartments Still no sign of anything going on here at the uh, Almeca.
I think we might have just had a technical glitch, so I don't know how much of that video we've actually recorded in our walk today. But uh, whatever it was, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you in our next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.